you guys. The year of the dragon. Adopt Me's Lunar New Year is finally here. And we have a lot to cover, so I'm not gonna waste any time. First things first, I gotta get this midnight dragon. I have to see it for myself in person. Oh, wow. This thing is huge. It's giving shadow dragon meets Capricorn meets Frost Fury. And before we get started, if you guys would like a chance to win this midnight dragon, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. I am so close to 200,000 subscribers. I really would love to hit it before the end of the month of February. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so we crossed that off the list. I love that they've added the teleport back. Let's go to the Lunar New Year shop. Okay, it's really popping. I love when this happens when people start using the shop as like the new trading place. It's just fun to get a change of scenery. You guys already know we're in a Cake Army trading server. But just for you guys, I'm also gonna turn on my joins for the followers. So if you guys haven't already, follow me on Roblox. Now getting right back into it, there is a brand new mini game that's actually starting in three minutes. So I wanna play the mini game for the very first time with the people in the Cake Army server. While we wait for it to start, look at all the stuff we can collect. So there are two Lunar New Year gift boxes. It looks like the more common one will be 4,000 of the currency, which I'm not sure what it's called yet. And then the special one will be 21,000. It's pretty steep, but there's a reason for it. As we can see, the regular gift box has a lower chance of a legendary, only 1%, only 10% chance of an ultra rare. The special Lunar New Year gift box has an 8% chance of a legendary and a 68% chance of an ultra rare and no chances for commons or uncommon. To me, that sounds pretty worth it. If we look over here, it has a list of everything. So the Dragonster is a legendary car you could get. You could get the Rainbow Dragon. I literally wore my Rainbow Evil Eye bracelet to channel the Rainbow Dragon. There's the rice cake rabbit, which I love the colors. I think it's so cute. There's a kite. Oh, speaking of that, I know we have to do something with a kite. So there's more kites. There is a tortoise pet to collect. I feel like he's gonna be a lost, forgotten about little buddy. Nobody's gonna really want him compared to all these other cool pets, but there's throw toys, pet wear, more toys, even special food. I love limited food. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this might be the best lunar event yet, and I haven't even really played it yet. Okay, we have one minute to wait until the first game of basically red light green light starts so i will be right back not me forgetting to record the whole thing now i gotta do it again okay well since i need to play the game again i'm so sorry guys i forgot to hit the record button let's just buy some of this i don't want to say this wrong yakwa i'm gonna google it okay so i hope i'm saying it right yakwa apparently it's a korean honey cookie is what they describe it as and we just bought a ton of it so something that you guys need to keep your eyes on for later are these silk gift bag. Now, I'm sure me and a lot of other of your favorite YouTubers are going to be purchasing these bags and making videos with them, myself included, so keep your eyes out. But basically, this is kind of Adopt Me testing the waters for bucks trading. This is something we've all been asking for for a really long time. So basically, you can buy one of these silk bags for 1,050 AMC. Inside of the silk bag is 1,000 AMC that you can trade. So you're basically paying like $50 for the bag itself, and then you just hold it. And when you click it, it asks you if you want to open it to get a thousand bucks. So basically, however many of these you have times a thousand is how much bucks it's worth. So in theory, you could trade up to 18,000 bucks per pet because you know, you only have 18 trade slots. Now let's come over here. Look at these gift boxes. Let's open our very first regular gift box. This is so exciting. And I got a rice drink. Oh my God. It's so cute. I love collecting rare food items. And now we're going to open the special one, this special box. It is so beautiful. Let's go ahead and open her see if we get lucky did we channel <gasps> we channeled the legendary with my bracelet oh my gosh that is the very first one i opened and i got a legendary rainbow dragon oh my gosh guys this bracelet literally worked do not doubt the power of my bracelet i cannot believe that just happened five minutes for the game i believe that there's a kite somewhere around the adopt me map that we have to find so before i get too distracted let's find this kite let's come over here oh it's right here it's literally right here in front of the nursery launch kite we launch the kite and we get 150 yakwa one out of six kite there is my beautiful kite that i have set into the sky okay so i found out with the kites actually that they reset every single adopt me day so every time an adopt me which i think is like every 10 minutes you just have to put them back in the sky every time so there's six that's the first one the second one is over here by the pool party just launch that kite and then the next one i like to go over to the red bridge launch our third kite we got that one up in the air and then just keep going around the whole adopt me map and you should see them the next one is over there by this little dock that's 
kind of pointless. Launching our fourth kite, and then the fifth one is over by the pizza shop. You can kind of see it. Launch the fifth kite by the pizza shop, and then the very last one is going to be over towards the end of the bridge to Adoption Island. Hop on over here, and there you go. Your last kite. Six out of six kites flying, 150 yakwa each. Each time you do this, you get 900 yakwa. I can't believe I got the rainbow dragon on my first one. So if you don't want to use the teleport from the little task board, the entrance is right over here by the pet shop. It's so beautiful. I love it. And it even tells you how many people are over here. As soon as you enter, this is where you can buy the yakwa. I just clicked on the top and it brought me to me being able to buy that. It's a cute little area. I really like it. I like that it shows everything. I wish that it kind of like grayed out the stuff that you don't have and only lit up the stuff that you have collected, but that's okay. I do want to be able to collect everything. So while we wait for the game, let's just open a few more of these boxes. Okay, now I got the rice cake hat. All right, so we have three items off of this list. Oh, I got the rice cake soup. Okay, so we're doing really well. We're getting different stuff, which is what I love to see. I don't want to get too much of the same thing. Also, somebody told me my shirt is kind of matching this gift box. Oh, did we get a duplicate? Oh, no, we got our first duplicate, you guys. That is not what we're looking to get. Oh, Vesti Bella just joined. I told her to teleport. Oh my god, we're matching. We're literally matching. Hey, Vesti Bella. We're gonna play the mini game again, and I'm gonna remember to record this time. Okay, guys, see? I actually hit the record button this time. The game is starting. When the statues are looking at you, do not move. Pretty self-explanatory. You want to try to get these golden bowls. Oh, somebody else. Ah! Okay, so if you start moving, your little health bar goes down, which I think is a lot more fair than just instantly getting out. Oh, I already had too many bowls. You can only hold three bowls at a time. Like I said, if you move while the statue thingy is like looking at you, you just lose like this little health bar. You don't instantly get out until your whole health bar has ah! depleted. And even on the health bar it shows like the little guy like flipping back and forth i guess if you're too zoomed in and you can't see him so look he's facing when he's facing and he's not when he's not i just i love the attention to detail why do i like freeze in real life when the when the statue like does that i really like this mini game this is a mini game i could actually see myself playing more than once so we only have a few seconds left this is probably gonna be the last one. Oh, i died i died before i was able to put all my bowls no i just got the worst score ever oh that that was so unfortunate. I wanted to see how much I could have gotten with three golden bowls. Okay, so I only got 1150 yakwa. I don't remember the max amount you can get. I know Jesse said it on the weekly news. Let me just quickly look at that on my phone. Okay, I just watched it and it says you could get a max of 3,200 per minigame. I'm sure maybe this is easier in a private server. Now back to what we were doing was trying to get literally everything. Okay, we got another rice drink. Now I'm opening the cheaper ones first because I do still need the common and uncommon items. So I'd rather open these and see if I get lucky. Guys, I really tried. I really tried to be able to open those gifts in the Cake Army server, but it was just too hectic. It was a lot of people asking me for stuff. Another rice cake hat. Guys, if you ever see me in the game, please don't ask me for free stuff. Please don't ask me for your dream pet. I don't know what YouTuber started that. Oh, I got something new. It's a Jeggy throw toy. I love the colors. Up, oh, and we're already broke. But yeah, please don't ask me for free stuff. I do give free stuff out. You know, I do giveaways on every video, but it's not always gonna be someone's dream pet It's just gonna be like the newest pet or you know something that's usually robux. Oh, we got a pet wear a rare pet wear Can I put it on the oh, it does not look good on the rainbow dragon at all I'm sure it looks good on somebody else. What else do I need? I need this throw toy I need a rice cake rabbit and I probably should play this game on a private server just to see if it's easier Okay, guys, so my method is go all the way to the back first. Don't pick up any regular bowls or any golden bowls along the way. Go straight to the back and get the furthest three golden bowls. Bring them all the way back to the safe area of your choice. I always go to the left one, but it doesn't matter. As long as you start with the three golden bowls all the way in the back first, and then once you do that, I would try to get the next three golden bowls. They're always going to be spawned somewhere different, so you're going to have to just take it game by game. Like for me, I'll grab this bowl right here. So in total, to be able to get max each time, you need to get all six golden golden bowls and then you need to get an additional six regular bowls so the reason i get the ones all the way at the back first is because if you keep having to go back and forth you're never going to be able to make four 
full trips, but with this method, I was able to make four full trips. And now that my score is 3,300, I will get the max amount possible. So I'm just not gonna play anymore. And just like that, I got the max 3,200 Yakwa. I'm just trying to collect all the lunar items. Ooh, I got a rainbow dragon hat. I got an ultra rare from the regular box. Oh, it's literally, what if I put a rainbow dragon on the rainbow dragon? Oh my God, wait, that looks so cute actually. Okay, so he's just gonna be rocking just with the rainbow hat on the rainbow dragon. I do hope we will be able to get everything. I mean, these boxes are not super expensive. I feel like I could definitely, ooh, we got the fang horn kite now. We got another kite. I feel like it's definitely doable to collect everything. It's just, you know, I gotta grind. I gotta play the mini games. I can't just keep spending my Robux to buy these boxes. Wait, did I already get this kite? No, I didn't. Okay, now we got a midnight dragon kite. This one's so cool. I like the kites. I think that they're cute. I need to take inventory and see what we're missing. Oh, and now we got the Doltoki kite. I really hope I'm saying everything right. I don't want to say anything wrong or offend anybody. So I know that I got... Okay, I'm missing the rice cake rabbit kite. I'm missing the diamond fanghorn kite. Still haven't gotten the legendary vehicle or the rabbit or the other pet. What do you say we try our luck at a couple of these? Let's open the special Lunar New Year gift box. Okay, I just got another rare. That is not what I wanted. That's not what the odds are supposed to say. Oh, and we got another pet, the fanghorn tortoise. You know what? Maybe he won't be a favorite because of how he looks, but I love his colors. Okay, I just had to do so much grinding. I was able to get 137,000 Yakwa. So now what I think I'm gonna do is continue to buy the regular gift box just because they're so much cheaper and there are still common and uncommon things that we need. I mostly need this Lunar Moon throw toy. I think we have this kite already. My money is going down fast. Oh, we just keep getting duplicates. Worst case scenario, we have to go trade, but I'm not really looking to have to trade. Did I have this kite? Okay, wait, that is one of the kites that we needed, the diamond fanghorn kite. We still need these two ultra rare kites, which I think that we have a very slim chance of. Oh, we got our first rice cake rabbit. I actually think this is so cute. Look at its glowing eyes. Little creepy. I love it. All right, one ultra rare off the list. Good for us. It's so annoying that the uncommon thing I need, I think I just need this lunar moon throw toy and then I could just go and open the more expensive boxes, which I'm nervous about. Oh, more soup, more soup. It looks like the rabbit wants the soup. So we'll give the rabbit the soup. Oh wait, that was, that's a rare food that I probably shouldn't just be giving. Whoopsies, another kite that we don't need. Where is this lunar moon throw toy? Does it not exist? Um, I'm really confused because I just opened something and nothing appeared. But then when I clicked my inventory, the dragon stir was at the top. So does that mean that I got this just now? Why wouldn't it have said that? We just got a legendary from the regular gift. I wish that it showed it. Okay, well, slay to us for already getting a legendary in the regular gift box. Oh no, you guys, my money is going down so fast. I still wanted to open a special lunar box, but it looks like we may not get that chance. Oh my gosh, we got it. The lunar moon throw toy. We finally got it. Let's go. All right, I really think the last things that we need are these last two kites. And wait, I think that's it. I think we just need to get the kite. And as I open this super expensive special lunar gift, I... <gasps> we got one of the kites we needed. Okay, let's open another. And if we get our other kite... Oh no, we got the same ultra rare kite. We need the rainbow one now. Oh guys, this is the last special box that I can afford. So we need a Hail Mary, please. No, it's a rare. Okay, well, I can only afford two regular boxes now. So, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. How did I just get this from the normal one when I couldn't get it from the normal one earlier? This is my last box. You know what? I'm just going to play this mini game really quick so I can buy one more box and I will get the max amount possible. Okay, that was easy. And now that we have an extra amount of Yakwa, we can buy one additional Lunar box. And if we don't get the Rainbow Dragon Kite, I'm going to have to trade for it. Let's just quickly open our last box. No. Well, you guys already know the deal. I'm gonna use the fishy army trading server to try to trade one of my midnight dragon kites for the rainbow dragon kite we need. And just like that, we were able to get somebody who will do the trade. Okay, we just joined them in game and they literally have the kite out. Oh, their house is like a grinding house. Super cute. Okay, so we're gonna put our midnight dragon kite and there it is, the rainbow dragon kite. That's so awesome. I can't believe I got four of these and zero of these and they said you could have it for 
free. As you guys know, I do not take free stuff, so we gotta do a fair trade for it. I do appreciate that they wanted to give me this for free, but at least now we have it. Thank you so much, June. And just like that, we were able to get all the items in this year's Lunar New Year event.